One thing I love, and I know you guys do too, is a good old-fashioned story about Donald Trump being embarrassed and being humiliated. And this one really is at the top of the heap because he is being evicted and kicked out and removed against his will from a golf course of his in New York City. Just the height of his embarrassment that Donald Trump is being booted from his very own golf course. We touched on this story last month, but there's a lot more details now about why this is happening and how Donald Trump is freaking out over it. So basically, Donald Trump doesn't own the actual course, but he is the official operator of the property because he leases it from New York City. But they've terminated the lease early. They've broken the contract with Trump because of his evil actions, especially on January 6th. It says here, the city of New York will not be associated with those unforgivable acts in any way, shape or form. Mayor Bill de Blasio said after the city terminated the Trump organization's licensing deal for Trump golf links at Ferry Point Park in the Bronx. And then a reporter notes below that the case highlights how Trump's activities during the final days of his presidency continue to haunt him as he navigates numerous criminal investigations and business challenges linked to the Capitol riot. The fight over the golf course is one of the latest examples of Trump's political rhetoric clashing with his business interests. And so essentially what they're saying is that Donald Trump is radioactive. You can't touch him. Nobody wants to associate with him. And so much like a sponsorship company, when an athlete or a musician or a celebrity has some sort of scandal, they cut the contract short. Technically, the contract isn't over yet, but there are clauses in any deal that basically say that if the company stops being able to provide the service, if the celebrity stops being brand friendly, we have the right and really the responsibility to sever the contract and move on. And that's what the city is doing to Donald Trump here. And he's freaking out. Again, I want to read this to you a little bit more. It says, one city official wrote in denying Trump's appeal of the termination that the PGA's decision provided, quote, irrefutable evidence that the Ferry Point Golf Course's ability to draw tournaments of the requisite caliber has been significantly impaired by Trump's actions leading to the events of January 6th. This is a material breach of the license. The city has also accused Trump's lawyers of trying to intimidate potential bidders for the rights of the golf course. In September, his lawyers allegedly sent a letter to one bidder advising them to, quote, proceed at your peril. And so Donald Trump's lawyers are threatening anybody that dares to want to take over this golf course to rip down the Trump name and put their own name. Trump is being evicted and he's threatening the next potential tenant of the property. And again, this shows that when Donald Trump lost the golf tournaments at some of his own courses that he owns outright, this was a signal to this golf course that he is not brand friendly. I think this is a slam dunk case. Trump is trying to sue in court, but it's very clear that the city can argue that he's hurt their brand by associating with Trump and the city wants to cut him out. This is so good. Again, whenever Trump gets booted from New York, and especially when he gets booted from his own golf course in New York. It shows that everything he loves is being ripped away from him. The city that he supposedly loves, the game that he supposedly loves, the hobby, the businesses he supposedly loves, his name being smattered on properties, whether it's a highway sign or a golf club being torn down. And of course, you love to see the irony of a landlord like Donald Trump, who I'm sure has evicted a bunch of people when they've been at the lowest point in their life, because a lot of landlords aren't very good people finally getting evicted. Ah, 